Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. In today's session, we are going to discuss the vowels of English RP. English RP has 20 vowel sounds, 12 of which are pure vowels or monophthongs and other 8 are vowel glides or diphthongs. Vowels of unchanging quality are called pure vowels or monophthongs or simple vowels. There are 12 pure vowels or monophthongs in English RP. Out of these 12 pure vowels or monophthongs, there are 4 friend vowels, 5 back vowels and 3 central vowels. Friend vowels, as we have already discussed, are vowels during the production of which the friend of the tongue is raised towards the hard palate and there will be sufficient space between them for the air to escape freely without any friction. These are the friend vowels in English. That is E as in seen, E as in sit, A as in head and A as in apple. Back vowels are vowels during the production of which the back of the tongue is raised towards the soft palate and there will be sufficient space between them for the air to escape without any friction. These are the back vowels in English. That is A as in part, O as in pot, O as in all, U as in full and U as in food. Vowels articulated with the center of the tongue raised towards the part of the roof of the mouth which is between the hard palate and the soft palate are known as central vowels. There are three central vowels in English. A as in cut. A as in bird. A as in father. On the basis of the vowel length Pure vowels can be classified into two, short vowels and long vowels. There are seven short vowels and five long vowels in English RP. These are the short vowels in English. These are the long vowels in English. All English vowels can be described with the help of three term labels. The three terms indicate the position of the lips that is rounded or unrounded, the part of the tongue raised, friend, back or central and the height to which it is raised that is close, open, half close or half open. Here is the description of English vowels with three term labels. E. Friend, close, unrounded. E. Friend, Unrounded between close and half close. A. Friend. Unrounded between half close and half open. A. Friend. Open. Unrounded. A. Back. Open. Unrounded. O. Back. Open. Rounded. O. Back. Rounded. Between half closed and half open. U. Back. Rounded. Just above half close. U. Back. Close. Rounded. Diphthongs. Diphthongs are sounds during the articulation of which the tongue starts in the position of a particular vowel and moves in the direction of the position of another vowel within a single syllable. In other words, diphthongs are vowel glides or vowels with a changing quality. The glide should take place within one syllable. That is, in the production of the English diphthong A, the tongue moves from the position of A to the position of E. If the two vowels belong to two different syllables, the glide will not be considered a diphthong but a sequence of two vowels. There are eight diphthongs in English RP. The diphthongs of RP may be classified into closing diphthongs and centering diphthongs. Closing diphthongs Diphthongs in which the glide is from 
one vowel position to that of a close or high vowel may be called closing diphthongs there are five closing diphthongs in english a as in face oi as in boy i as in sky o as in go ow as in cow centering diphthongs there are three centering diphthongs in english rp these diphthongs end in a central vowel these are the centering diphthongs in english rp ya as in here a er, as in hair wa as in cure english diphthongs are again classified into falling and rising diphthongs diphthongs in which the first element has greater prominence than the second element which is only lightly sounded are called falling diphthongs all the closing diphthongs in english and the centering diphthong a er, are falling the second element being less prominent in unaccented syllables the first element of the diphthong may be weaker of the two elements that is the prominence increases as the articulation proceeds such diphthongs with a stronger second element are called rising diphthongs triphthongs if a vowel sequence has three elements it is called triphthong five out of the eight diphthongs that occur in english can be followed by the vowel a both within a word and at word boundaries that's about the vowels in english rp here is a question for you please do answer the question thank you so much for paying attention